My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I have a small confession to make. We had a really, 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 really poor run that ended on the third floor. Uh, and that was last video. It was not good. Basically, no weapons, all brown chests, pretty horrible, basically no master rounds. It fizzled really, really quickly. So I was like, yeah, I'll just scrap this video. It's not really that much worth watching. Um, any dungeon run that goes, like, super bad like that, and not in a comical way, just, like, in a not interesting way, uh, is liable to kind of get the same treatment. But during that run, we found our final bullet friend, and let them live. So you know what? Let's play as the bullet. It didn't do anything special when they unlocked, it just got me an achievement, and now the bullet is here. So, the mechanics of the bullet is, uh, sorry, are as such. You start with, hang on, let me see the items. A passive item. I'm a bullet too. You, who needs bullets when you are a bullet? And, uh, sorry, provides immunity to contact damage and rolling into enemies in deals increased damage. And the blasphemy infinite ammo does not reveal secret walls betrayal. But, it moves you forward when you shoot it. And also, it shoots out a ranged weapon. Unless you're missing HP. In which case, it does not shoot out the ranged. It destroys bullets as well when you swing it. And does, obviously, contact damage, as you might imagine. Okay, so really early, this is going to be a good idea, but later, I am going to be terrified of using this. Oh shit, you can reload. Why would you need to reload with this? I think the reload is just like a block. So as you can see by the enemies that it's managing to take out in a single hit, it does quite a lot of damage. I love the shot when you roll. Two, three, four. Beautiful. So, I also need to try and find things that are going to give me armor. Or just buy a bunch of armor. So that I can keep myself safe. I basically want to keep full HP whenever I can. So that I can afford to use the Betrayer as my main weapon for as long as I'd like. So that I can save ammunition. And, you know, not really be sad if we don't have a main weapon or really be working with it at any point in time. So you can see right now what's happened. We're missing HP, and now we don't shoot a projectile anymore. Unfortunately, we took out that friendo while he was a little too close to me. I don't need ammo. On a weapon that has infinite ammo. Mm hmm. What? I don't even know what I get hit by. Damn it. Stop pushing me away, enemies. Please, just embrace me. Thunderclap, Raiden Coil, doesn't really do that much. It'll kill a boss, though. So, it's good enough. That's what I need right now, so it'll be good enough. Fight him. Yeah, got him. All right. Uh, da, da, da. No shop. No shop yet. No. Fine. We'll find the shop. Really want the HP back as well, I'll be honest. Kind of missing the shot more than I thought I would. Uh, yeah, we have to take that. Unfortunately, it's not going to be too helpful. Until I get my actual health back. Alright, looks like the shop is going to be really quickly up here. Probably one interlude room. And then the shop. Yep. And... 
you in a single shot as well. So it does clearly a lot of more, uh, sorry, a lot more damage than most other stuff does. Disarming personality lowers the price in shops. Over the course of the run, is that going to save me? Ooh, blood brooch. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to go disarming personality. Lowers the price of blood brooch as well. Then buy a key. And now blood brooch is going to give me back HP while I kill enemies. So it's going to keep me at maximum HP so I can continue to uh, use blasphemy. And in case I get hit, Bullet Idol is going to help me out. But, of course, I'm not particularly keen on that one. Alright, uh... Change to our other weapon. I'm really not happy to be using this weapon, I'll be entirely honest with you. Thankfully, that blank was actually well-timed. That one, too. The fact that I'm nowhere near finished this fight and I've already had to use this many blanks is kind of annoying, but we'll be fine. Should be fine. Definitely not going to be fine if I don't blank there. Gosh, the reload time on this is actually incredible. In incredible in the incredibly long kind of stance. Not incredible as in, it's incredible for me because this is so short. I know that could go kind of either way on that description there. Alright. Uh, sure, sure, sure. The fact I didn't get any HP is actually kind of disappointing though. And not really enough to afford anything else either. Alright, let's just get out of here. We are probably going to have to use the Magnum. Magnum, sorry. For our room clears for a while. I can't afford to go Malay in the majority of these rooms, I feel. Alrighty then. Uh, da -da -da. Change to Blasphemy and then have it on Quick Swap with Magnum. So this is obviously going to be a Magnum room, but that's a Blasphemy enemy, right? Basically, I'm going to try and decide on the fly what's relevant or best to be using at that point. What? That should have been destroyed. I'm sorry, that should have been destroyed. Uh, at least we're only losing armor. Okay. Keep knocking them all back. Anyone want to spawn a lead maiden for me to kill would be greatly appreciated. Okay, there's a challenge room down there, and there's also the shop upwards. I'll go to the shop upwards. Yeah. I do want that. There's no chance I'm going to get it, though. It's a shame, because it's a really good item. Okay. With using naught but the Derringer, I can do that. One last trick. It honestly doesn't do too little damage. <laughs> no contact damage, bitch. Can't do me dirty like that. Can't do me dirty like that. Alright. Give me my money back and M1. Sure, we'll use the M1 rather than the Magnum I was using before. Magnum's a pretty good boss weapon. M1 is not. That is the difference and why we are going to use one over the other here. Three, four, five, six, seven? Sure. Uh, I could have changed back to my Blasphemy for that, actually. Almost certainly should have. Not for that, though. Yeah. 
Easily done. Keep rolling. I think you can actually just walk fast enough over those, but I don't really want to try. Oh, crud. <laughs> Good thing that doesn't do instant damage, otherwise I would have been boned there. Alright, there's more to this floor. Let's go find it. Okay, knock them both off into oblivion. Yeah, that's a problem. That was not a good roll. Not even slightly. Come on, die. Get out of my life, cursed enemy. Come on. I had to get all of that curse. You don't understand. I needed the personality to saw me. It's not even making things that much cheaper. Just slightly. Easy, and... God damn, we're not too far off being able to get it. I mean, we're not gonna get it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to disarm that in time. Ring of cash, chest of... nope. Alright, well, yes, yeah, so we're just finding the bot then. I should always have a key when I go to the boss room. Sorry, the item rooms at this point. Because they are very liable to have fuses. Gosh, that's way more mobile than it used to be. I don't know if that's been changed at all. I don't think any update has been actually released. I think there's still that one in beta branch, but... Hop! Okay, I managed to dodge through that, but I probably shouldn't have been able to. Easily done. Just... Keep staying on the good side of these bullets. By which I mean no side of these bullets. Glad I didn't have to roll through the first one, because that would have taken away a lot of my ability to roll through that second. I'm just going to blank there for safety. Whoo! <laughs> that was a tight one. That was a lot closer than I'd like to admit. Okay. Sure. Guess we're going to have to leave with this. That's kind of disappointing, though. I want you so much. Uh, is there anything I can actually do about it? Uh, check for secret rooms. Not going to be there. Not going to be there. Might be up next to this guy. Probably here. Nope. Okay, it wasn't here. Lessons learned. Let's get out of here. No real boss weapons right now. Oh well, let's move on. By which I mean no boss weapons that take bosses out from floor this one onwards. Uh, I guess we go with alchemy? Uh, sorry, alchemy. Blasphemy. <laughs> Apparently those words are really closely related in my brain. If I could get some of the... Gun Knight gear would actually be really good here. Whoo! Okay. I don't know how much curse I incurred. I should start calculating curse, but I don't know exactly how much curse I incurred with buying two cursed items, but 
I think I might not want to get any more curse for the rest of the run. I think it might be time to start being really careful. Okay, this isn't particularly accurate, but I only need to get three in. Beautiful. Plus, you can't argue with infinite ammo, right? I have infinite attempts to make it accurate. Okay, just one left. Especially when there's only one enemy left. There's no reason not to be using this. Easily done. I like this character a lot, actually. It's starting to warm to me quite quickly. A lot more quickly than I would have expected it would. And that'll do it. Beautiful. Glad I really managed to get the money there. Because money is going to be a decent backbone of our run. If we find a cursed shop... Cursed shop, what is it? Uh, not cursed shop. Black market. We're actually just going to be in the clear. Because we've got the curse to go in. And even if we didn't have the curse to go in, we do have the... Uh, the hundred caps. Hundred caps? Why am I thinking in, uh, in... Fallout terms. I've been playing a lot of Fallout Shelter recently, and that's probably why. That'll be our boss weapon, actually. That will be our boss weapon, because it destroys boss enemy bullets, and it also slows down the enemy bosses a lot. You know, as opposed to all those ally bosses that are out there. I love that none of those bullets are hitting me, because I keep disintegrating them. Oh, so good. Alright, uh, refill the magnum. Nope. Ooh, okay, that was the wrong time to pause! Okay, I keep forgetting this guy has an increased fire rate, so it makes pausing at pretty much any time really not okay. We have already taken, like, six full hits of damage from him. In, you know, the condensed three-hit form, because he does t uh, two damage per hit. That actually probably kills our run. Oh, God. I was not expecting the fire rate to be as high as it was, which is why I need to change weapon. No, shit, let's go into my weapon changing meadow. Fuck, I'm being shot at. Happened twice in a row. Yeah, that's really bad. Like, really bad. Uh. I should have had a quick switch weapon up. That's the way where I could have done that better. I should have had a quick switch weapon up, ready for finding jammed enemies that I didn't really have the ability to fight. I'll get that so that if I find a chest and it's fused, I can just open it. Step right up, step right up, dead eye. I don't even know what he just said, but he said something different than he usually says. No, I'll go through here. This will be fine. Okay. This one's got to be the hardest one, right? Easy. <clears throat> Easily done! Beautiful. Claim my prize, dead eye. And I'll open that. He's a Patriot gun eater. Alright. Oh, obviously. That's gotta be a reference to Metal Gear. Snake Eater, right? So it's a reference to the only Metal Gear that I've played. Which I actually quite enjoyed. It's just I never really got into the Metal Gear ethos after that, because I really enjoyed three, and then none of the rest of them that I've seen any of are really that much like three.
Okay, we'll take all of that and I guess go back to the Magnum refill. So that's a pretty good gun, but it's not... Like, it's a pretty good gun if you don't consider tiers, but if you consider that that is an S-tier chest, not that really good of a gun. Probably would have preferred, like, a passive from it. Okay. Drop them all. Excellent. Am I going to be able to flawless the boss? Well, it depends, as always. But uh, it probably depends on if the boss is the cannon balrog are probably the highest chance yeah i'd have to say that's true just for the fact that the snowball weapon is going to be able to do so much damage glacier rather is going to be able to do so much damage to him slow him down a bunch and destroy all of his projectiles Oh, that was a fun ride. Ow. I have to kill them while riding through the minecart. That's, uh, that's how I get the achievements I need. That's what we're doing the achievement series for. I mean, I never really called this an achievement series, but... It's kind of what I want to do. Get all the achievements in the game. I rolled and stayed in the same car. That was pretty cool. That was pretty damn cool, if you ask me. But of course, I'm biased. Uh, we'll quickly go over here, see if this is a... Yep, it is. Ooh. Come on, Ryan, breathe. Breathe, make sure you win the fight. Got him. Hey, White Guanstone. Kindles blanks. It's reasonable. It's mostly okay because I kind of want a bunch of Guanstones to circle around me and keep me protected and safe. So this and the Patriot are probably going to be our largest damage output. So you can see what I mean right here, right? What the? <sighs> I'm just really sad. I am just really sad that, uh... That I got hit there. Because that always happens to me on the third floor boss, right? I'll get hit in a circumstance that it's like, really? You got hit there? And then not take damage for the rest of the fight. Now, I did take damage there, to be fair. I took a second hit of damage, so I guess I invalidated that as I was saying it. But, oh, heroin. Cool, we've won. Oh, well, that's, that's cool. I didn't think we won the game, but now we won the game. That's what the heroine does, by the way. The heroine just wins the game. Because the heroine has a stupid amount of HP. HP. Armor. Ammo? Ammo. There we go. Ooh. Managed to find the right word for it. And it one-shots enemies. on. 
It's not fair to judge it based on the damage it did to that weapon. That weapon, that weapon, that enemy was jammed. Try and avoid going through that chap room, uh, trap room, rather, if I can. Can I, like, say a single sentence without stuttering over a word, please? Okay, let all of the other enemies in the room melt. Pretty much just stay at long range and deal with them. It's also super accurate, the heroin, by the way. Like, I can't think of anything really going against the heroin here. It's actually just insane. It and the Mega Hand, both in the green chest weapon pool as well. Probably just the best room clears in the game. All those tables were pretty much just blocking my way if you're wondering why I couldn't roll at all. <sighs> Managed to get myself nestled in a real bad area. Oh, sure, Mimic. Got him. Frost amulet. Chance to freeze. I believe that's also an extra amulet per... Amulet, sorry. Extra blank per floor. So with it and the white guan stone, I'm up to four blanks per floor. It's going to be pretty good. Pretty nice to have. Just keep ducking in and out and we should be fine. I did not think it would one-shot the red tip shotgun kin. Beautiful. More and more blanks, don't mind if I do. Okay, just stay entirely in the opposite side, and it literally only took two shots of the heroin to take that guy down. Like, this gun is insane. Also, if we keep getting mimics, we're not actually going to need any more... <laughs> any more keys. I actually do want the HP. Hey, cool. Nice little bit of HP sitting there. Also, the sprite for when he jumps up. The bullet friend jumps up and uh, celebrates opening a chest. It's actually really cute. All right, bullet idol. I took damage, so it hit everything in the room. Of course. Of course. See, it's so good that it kills them all before they can actually activate any of the things that those enemies were trying to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, that just goes back into this. Feed it back in the heroin. Uh, actually, should have probably gone into the Patriot. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. If only for the fact the Patriot is probably still my most potent boss killer. It depends on the boss, because if you have to keep rolling, the Patriot actually isn't even that good. Uh, the other one was what? Not a gun. It's a passive. So that makes this a gun. So that means I don't want it. Cool, cool. 
Branch S Gallon, I can only think of one I want, it's the sling. And at this point, the sling probably isn't even as good of a boss weapon as I have. Uh, jeez. There's really no closer place to teleport to, huh? Alright then, fine. We'll make our way over. Come on, black market at some point. I'd pretty much only buy HP. Hey, that enemy is always jammed, so it doesn't actually have that high health. Excuse me. I'll be taking that. Alright, with this abundance of blanks, I think I still use the Patriot. But I just blank anytime I feel intimidated. Did I just take almost all of them out at the same time? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, wow, that was way too close. Way, 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 way too close. Alright. Thankfully, we still made it through. I don't know why I'm only getting two hedge mini credits per boss. Don't you usually get more for these later bosses? <sighs> I'm not going to be too sad about it. Alright, back to the heroine. She'll still one-shotting him on this floor as well. Okay, easily done. Forge hammers here, that's fine. And we're fine too. It shouldn't be one-shotting the red gelatinous cubes anymore. If I recall correctly. Or maybe that's just Mega Hand. I know the heroine does slightly more damage than Mega Hand. I hate these things. Ash and Wands coming out of walls, making my life difficult. Worst. They're actually easier when they're jammed so you can see them. Gold amulet and copper amulet. I can just have all the amulets. If it was chaos, I might actually consider it because now I have four blanks. So I flip that to give him a surface to attack that I don't actually care about. That isn't past me. That's when he really gets dangerous, when he's actually attacking a surface that's behind you. Okay, three? Sure, that's fine. Just try and keep that in mind as the relevant number when fighting them. I've also disarming personality and a stupid amount of money right now. So I could easily end up with some amazing passive from the forge, or even an amazing gun from the forge, who knows. Really, I'm only limited by what's on offer. Ouch. Ah, this is 
the problem with not having a fast gun, though. I have to overkill all of them by a fair bit. Shit, is it still one-shotting the gelatinous cubes, or did I hit him with some damage before? Oh, uh, no, I got hit by a... I got hit twice in this room, so bullet idle would have triggered already twice. That would account for the damage. Uh, blue guanstone on my side? I mean, it's another guanstone, but I think it's just explosions make bullet time. So I really don't care. Is it explosions make bullet time? Slows time upon receiving damage. I mean, yeah. It may as well be. That's really good. That's really good. It's pretty good. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, shit, I've already made... Oh, bugger. I guess I'm hoping another room is locked. I don't even know what just happened there. My brain did not give my fingers the order to try and dodge that fight. That's my excuse and I'm holding to it. Stop protecting the other one, jammed enemy. Can't protect him now. Especially now that you're dead. It's quite a feat. I hate that these gun nuts don't actually give you much money at all. Really frustrating. Uh, that is almost certainly the floor. Oh, no, wait, I forgot. There's another another room I still haven't gone to, the chest room. So, of course, the floor has to be quite large. Or a lot larger than I thought it was. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you very much. I actually, I can't monitor how much the blood brooch has done for me, but it's entirely possible the blood brooch has saved my run many times over. And I'll never know. It is going to be the silent contributor to this run. The silent savior. I need to find the angle that'll get me that. Beautiful. Oh! Oh, bugger. It was really bad. Now I need to find the right angle here. Got him. That one, thankfully, wasn't close enough yet. What? I hate that they can still capture your things when they're done with their dancing animation. Like, that's not fair. That's not how games work. Goddamn game. Trying to tell me it knows how games work better than I know how games work. I've been playing a lot of games for, like, I don't know, 20-ish years? I haven't started playing games when I was two. Okay, I'm going to discount that. Maybe 16 years. Shit, it one-shots one of those guys? Damn, that's baller. Alright. It's not a mimic. <gasps> it is the mass shotgun, though. That's actually really good. Oh, damn. I really have nothing to worry about in this run. I don't really have, like, a boss-killing weapon right now, but... Oh, never mind, Patriot. Forgot about that. Whoopsie-daisies. Okay, let's try that one again.
Just so that I can finish firing out the rest of it. Uh, th -th -th I don't want to waste the ammo on a bunch of weapons, so I'm actually just going to go with the mass shotgun for a while. Mass shotgun's a good room clear, but it's nowhere near as good of a room clear as some of the other room clears we have. What? They still both got down? Thought I would have gotten at least one of them with that. All right. Damn it. Ah, there's the hit. Losing flawless. And we'll go back to this. Now I've got both of those weapons favorited. Oh, thank you for this long time, but uh, really not appreciated. When I end up taking way more damage afterwards. Because I was expecting bullets to go faster. done. It's like, damn it! Really? I got hit by that one? That might actually be the first time I've been hit by that specific attack. Uh, I think my shotgun still might be my best. Right. Oh, god damn it. I keep expecting the things to go faster, but because I took damage, they're not going as fast. Alright, that, that was all abysmal. That was all really bad. And, even worse, was what followed afterwards. Good lord. See, now that they're at full speed, I'm doing fine. This makes a point. See, if I'd only been that effective the first time, we would have been okay. God damn it! See? It actually starts a train of taking damage. Don't slow down the bullets. Blue Guanstone is actually way worse than it's worth. Good lord. Well, I'm just not going to have enough HP to survive the next ball. That's fine. Who needs HP anyway? When you unlock Blasphemy by finishing the boss there. Alright, uh, alright. Let's go get the HP available here. Still managed to unlock something. I don't actually unlock something for uh, doing the Dragon. Sorry, the Dragon, the High Lich with this boss. High Lich, what am I talking about? The Lich, the Lich with this boss, right? This character. The Lich boss with this character. Oh my god, words, Ryan. Please, remember them. Cherish them, love them. And I also don't even have a pass, so I can't do anything up there. So, let's go down. You'd think the bullet might have a pass, right? There's a lot of flavor there to work with. Maybe that's something that comes out in the next expansion. By next expansion, I mean first expansion. Not that anything's been said about there being an expansion. It's just, I mean, this is the kind of game that's definitely ripe for it. So that I don't have to worry about the distance I am away from my enemy. I'll just be using the heroin rather than the mass shotgun. Plus the heroin is going to one-shot more enemies. Let's see how much health I can get back. So I had two health coming down to this floor. I got one one armor from my gun knight apparel. Beautiful. All right. Well, I've got an HP back, but I lost my armor. Okay, but that's not from the blood brooch. I want to analyze the blood brooch by itself. So 
So still only one trigger so far after clearing as many rooms as I have. Okay, that was the second trigger. Happened after killing the Poopulon. I also want to know if it triggers after killing enemies that aren't really enemies. Like, maybe transmogrified chickens or, you know, the thing that is left on the floor after the Poopulon dies. Just in time as well. Uh huh. Just get those floor based enemies. Oh uh, well, that's another hit of damage I took, although I think I got a heal before the hit of damage. So I'm going to say three. I am really going to need ammunition for this. If we are going to be going for much longer. Keep hiding. Beautiful. You can't get the same angles I can, buddy. What? Oh, pfft, bollocks. I thought that roll was fine. Really? I got hit and then I fell down. Who needs HP anyway? I think the blood brooch might actually have... Wow! That didn't... Get... I think the blood brooch might actually have been the most clever decision that I made in this run. To get the disarming personality bro uh, blood brooch plus the. Hang on. Get the pooping one first. Any of the ones that are gonna shoot at me. I wanna get them out of the way. I don't even know what that one is. Oh, that just seems to be a normal one. The one that's jammed. Alright, uh. Actually gonna go vertebrae K47 against them. Just because this seems like it'll be more effective. Really? Pupulon? Another one? After I explicitly killed them all. Okay, they'll get angry. I'll just roll away until they are really angry. R oh, Ryan, you're better than this at the game. Why are you just walking into bullets? Oh, this is not good. I am straight up just being carried by my items at this point. Like, there is no doubt about it. I didn't get the heroin, I wasn't going to make it to the uh, dragon. I didn't have the Patriot, probably wasn't going to make it through the dragon. Uh, hang on. I'm going to need a really good weapon right now. How did you shoot around the corner when I couldn't have shot you? I call shenanigans on that. So I've learned at least what to do in that room is you have to stay on the inside, not let them get near you. Okay, that's a poopulon down. And that is the end of our ammunition. Don't ask me what I'm going to do against the lich. Couldn't tell you for the life of me. Ooh. 
We're using the mass shotgun effectively, at least. You know what? At least we killed that lead maiden. So it's going to count towards Freifel's quest. I am not going to flawless the lich. If I don't go to other rooms and try and get HP, I'm just going to lose. Okay. Pretty reasonable clearing so far. Pretty good. I've entirely lost track of how many times Blood Brooks has paid out, by the way. All I know is it's paid out enough that I would definitely be dead without it. Stop getting closer to me. It's making me difficult. Thank you. It's making it difficult to hit you. Uh... I still haven't even healed a little bit, though. That's a shame. Hmm! <laughs> oh, fuck. The blood brooch must have paid out just before. Just before I took that hit. I thought I was dead. I thought, all right, well, it's time to start talking about how to wrap up this episode and, uh, and what I could do better in the future. Get him. Whoo. Instead, that's been staved off for a moment. Note that I say for a moment. It's, it's not long past gone. Hang on. One down. Why do I only exhibit, like, my best play when I am seconds from death? I think it's because I can't be consistent with this play, so I can just have, like, a small burst of it at the end of any run. Where, alright, this, uh, this run is entirely terrible. Let's try and bring it back. And then I get to... Oh, 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 wait, excuse me. Friendo, excuse me. And then I get to fake as though I might actually have a chance to bring it back. Really, it's just for drama's sake. That has to be it, right? Like, I'm actually really, really good at the game, but just to make the series more exciting... I pretend not to be. Mm, that would explain why the stream file is doing so well. It's strictly not true. I'm aware. But it is a hypothesis to hold. Don't try and test it. No. No. Okay. Okay. Poopulons still exist out there. I hate Poopulons. They're really annoying and they do a lot of damage to me. One down. Two down. Woo, baby. That's a blank as well. Don't mind if I do. Hey, look. Let's, let's just go full clear hell. Just for the fun of it. It's weird to be in a situation where full clearing hell is actually, like, the correct decision. No contact damage. That guy didn't damage me. Uh, but yeah, it's weird to be in a situation where this is actually the correct decision. That said, I still need ammo drops as well, otherwise this is going to be hilariously impossible. Yep. 
Oh, I saw that one coming from a mile away. That's okay, though. We did manage to get Blasphemy. And that's pretty much all I actually need to do with the bullet. If I wanted to from now on, I could just never play the bullet. I know that the next enemy that I have to play, the next character I have to play, is the Marine. So I can afford to do that in the next round. I did have some really, really, really good guns. I should not have lost that. I was playing abysmally. Absolutely abysmally. Although there also could have been some other cool things that I could have picked up. Like any shrines that would have helped me at pretty much any point in time. Uh, and a little less curse. I think I got curse from a d20 as well as the two curse items I picked up. That said, my name is Simon Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. We'll be playing the Marine next episode as well as purchasing the Gundromeda strain. Hopefully we'll see you then.